Something's going down in your town. Who else is running towards you now? Take a look around. Running towards the danger. Never ever running from it. Risk your only life for a stranger. Yeah, man, I've done it. Lace those boots up. Strap that vest. All right, guys. Uh, it's a Another day for patrol. We're gonna get out and about and see what we can get uh, rustled up for you guys. Um, we've got a few things, a few uh, crazy things going on. Obviously, as you can see on the left-hand side, we got some different uh, fire apparatuses and we got law enforcement in the area and stuff like that. So we should we should uh, have a little bit of activity for you guys to get into today, but um, we shall see. Let's see what we can get into. All right, guys, well, we just got a traffic stop. Uh, we had an individual that just passed us at 78, got him locked in at 71, so we're going to have to radio into dispatch and uh, find out exactly uh, what the deal is. Yeah, show me is on the scene. Dispatch 341, Paul Travick. Go ahead, 341. Be advised, I'm going to be out on a traffic stop with a red and color uh, two-door muscle car. Um... I just had a PD unit pass me if they could turn around uh, and provide cover. Um, uh, unknown location, it's going to be in a private drive off of Calafia Road. Copy, 341. PD unit that's inbound, if you could advise on the location, if you can get an address for me, please. 208 341. Uh, 2008 Calafia Road, 10 4, thanks. 341 Paul, uh, I'm not sure which uh, PD unit just passed me, but if you could advise. 10 4, I believe it's 319. Yep, and he's rolling in behind me now. So. Yeah, can you show me 319 on the scene, please? 10 4. <laughs> 341 Paul, uh, dispatch, prepare to copy plate. 10 4, go ahead. Uh, be advised, you may have to run this uh, both ways. It's going to be Sam, Tom, Edward, Tom, Henry, Ocean, Ocean. Sam, Tom, Edward, Tom, Henry, Ocean, Ocean. The uh, Ocean, Ocean may be zeros. 10-4. Sam, Tom, Edward, Tom, Henry, zero, zero comes back. The Formula Red muscle car. Register Jack Meyer. Do you need me to run the name? 10 if you would, please. That's going to be the car. We got the culprit. He's got a busted out back window, too. Valid license. Um, multiple prior citations and arrests for trespassing, reckless endangerment, and many traffic citations. 10 4, do we have a valid CCW for this individual? Negative. 10 4, thank you. Yeah, we got a bunch of busted out windows. How are we doing, sir? Officer Tony, Blaine County Police Department. Uh, the reason I'm stopping you, uh, back there uh, joining the dirt road, I had you, uh, at one point it was 78 miles an hour, I got you locked in at 71 miles an hour. Um, actually, that particular section right there is 35 miles an hour. Do you, uh, do you have any idea uh, what? Yeah, that's 35 miles an hour there, sir. I need you to give me a driver's license registration and proof of insurance. While you're digging for that, if you could give me a valid reason why you needed to do over double the speed limit. Hey, I didn't know it was 35. No, it was uh, 45 and that guy in front of me was like going 20, you know? So, I mean, it's taking forever to get to shit, so yeah. All right, sir, if you could just give me your documents. Oh, there was some traffic from the other side of the road. Could you give me the documents there, sir? Go. All right, there we go. All right, and are you the registered owner of this vehicle? Okay, what's your name on the ID yeah. just to verify here, sir? It looks like it's, uh, is it Jack Meyer? Yeah, my name is Jack. My last name is Meyer. Okay. All right, sir, uh, do me a favor. Just keep the vehicle off. Uh, don't be reaching for anything cra crazy. I'm going to have my partner keep an eye on you. I'm going to go back and run your information, uh, and we're going to see what we're going to come up with here. Uh, just bear with me, sir. User right. joined your channel. All right, so uh, I was up talking with uh, another officer, and 
then I ended up coming back uh, southbound on Calafia there. Um, before I started heading southbound, I seen him blow past. He must have flipped back around because I was going to go try to catch up to him, see if uh, he was still going to be speeding. And lo and behold, he must have flipped around, and then he was flying back in my direction again. So uh, I got him on radar that time and was able to flip around on him. So you apparently must have seen him too, and I'm guessing that's why you, you started this way as well. Yeah, exactly. I, I, not long ago, I, um, I passed him. Oh, yeah. Like Is this a guy from Polito? You got it. Oh, same guy. Okay. All right, well. That, that that takes his chance away from getting a break. Yep. All right. First, we need to get his information. Jack Meyer, 418-1998. Well, actually, we can do that. We can do the plate lookup. Let's make sure it is his car. Jack Meyer, that's who it comes back to. All right. I'm just going to copy this DOB here. And I think we're just going to give him a citation. We're not going to go too crazy with it. Go ahead. If your feet up there, sir, please come down uh, to the top block. Uh, I'm getting this guy's statement and his ID. Uh, I'll do that. I'll be done whenever he's done. And that would be him. He wasn't doing over 100, so it's not criminal speeding, right, so but he he's going doing? very, very fast, so. Right. What was you just doing then? You're just figuring about. Uh, nothing. Nothing of sense. Not doing anything. Well, you, you was doing something because uh, my colleague told you to, uh, to, to not move and you're, you're fiddling about with something. So what was it? He didn't tell me to not move, he just told me to not reach for anything crazy, you know? Yeah. They do. Just making no, me a little it's nervous, it's fiddling around in there. Yeah. Alright, sir. All right, I, there's multiple citations I could give you on this one. I'm going to cut your brake. Obviously, the window's being broken. Your ro your vehicle's not roadworthy. You can't be driving this away, so I'm going to be calling for a tow truck. You need to be calling for a ride to have somebody come out here and pick you up. You're not going to be driving this without a, a front windshield or, obviously, uh, every other window in the vehicle's been busted out. So you're not going to be driving away in this thing. Um, the citation I did write you, uh, like I said, I'm cutting your brakes. Um, I could have got you for a whole bunch of other stuff on top of this, uh, unroadworthy vehicle. There's reckless driving. And, uh, when you overtook that vehicle, you almost clipped it. So, I mean, at that point I could get you for reckless endangerment if I want. And this could be going a whole different, uh, direction. What I did write you for was, uh, excessive speeding. Um, it's in excess of 25 miles an hour over the speed limit. Like I said, you were doing over the double the speed limit there. That's 35 mile an hour zone. Um, so Man, right here. Was 35. Okay, well, no sir, uh, just so you're aware, ignorance of the law does not uh, constitute an excuse. So you do not get away f with that. That's just how this works. So um, what I do need you to do, uh, I have uh, the citation right here. On the bottom there, you're going to see an X. I need you to sign that. That's not an admission of guilt. It's just stating you'll either pay the citation or you'll flip that ticket over. On the back side, there'll be a, uh, okay, you're just going to sign it. All right, but uh, let me just finish explaining to you. It's going to tell you uh, on the back there there's a number to contact the courts. If you wish to contest the charge, you call that number within the same allotted time frame that you have to pay it, and uh, you'll be able to set up a uh, court date, and we can talk about this in front of a judge. Here is your copy of the citation as well as your documents back. Uh, do me a favor, hop out of the vehicle. Hey. 
did you uh, did did you clock it as well? Yeah, I got him at 71. Yeah, yeah. Can I get my bag out of the trunk? Uh, uh, 341, stand by. I'm talking with the subject now. Uh, no, uh, that's uh, something that's going to be part of the vehicle inventory. Uh, before I uh, inventory the vehicle, is there anything I need to be aware of in the vehicle since it's going to be true? Okay, yeah, but it's right now it's part of the vehicle inventory. Okay, yeah, well, we'll get to that as soon as uh, I've cleared the vehicle of inventory. I'll get that for you. Uh, but right now that's part of the vehicle's inventory. Um, is there anything illegal that is inside the vehicle that I need to be aware of when I start my inventory report? I mean, I don't know if my bag's illegal. Okay, is there is there something in, inside the bag you want to make me aware of that may be illegal? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, just so you're aware, I'm going to be searching it, so... It's inside the vehicle. It's part of the inventory. I'm going to be searching it and documenting it. So if there's something illegal, I mean, it would probably be a good idea if you just tell me what it is, especially if it's something that could hurt me. So uh, if not, we can go a different route. I'm going to find it either way. Uh, I, it doesn't necessarily need to be a weapon to hurt me, sir. Needles. Uh, there's plenty of illegal drugs. If they get airborne, they can hurt me, stuff like that. I heard you, but there's some, uh, there's some, uh, white stuff in there. But okay. Do me a favor, stuff. just, just, no, sir, stand back here. I didn't tell you to go anywhere. Do not move. All right. Do me a favor. No, turn and face away from me. Just for your, your safety and mine, you're going to be detained at this point. Well, for my safety, as long as you don't attack me, I'm safe, man. Uh, well, the thing is, is, if you take off running, then I have to I have to take uh, actions to stop you from running, and that could get you hurt. So as of right now, you are detained. Uh, 319, you want to do me a favor? Pat this individual down and put him in your car so uh, we got him uh, yep. secured, please. Yeah, no problem. All right, before we go down any further, I'm just going to read something to you while he's patting you down. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand those rights? I do. Okay, and with those rights in mind... I'm not be saying anything. Okay, you, you do understand them, though, correct? Well, I mean... I could say something, but if it's going to be... Okay, no, I, I, just, uh, I just need to know if you do indeed understand those rights. That's a simple yes or no, sir. Okay, and you said you don't wish to speak to me? What? You said you don't wish to speak to me about it at all. Is that correct? I mean, now that I'm going to be in trouble for it anyway, uh, I don't believe I won. Okay, so you're admitting that there is something illegal in the vehicle and you're aware of it then? Illegal. It's not mine. It's okay. Friend. You've already you've already convinced me there's something in the car that's illegal, sir. So, uh, 319, go put him in the back of your car. No problems. Um, he's got a, a knife on him. Yeah, he it, knives aren't illegal. If you just want to put that on the hood of my car. No problems. Go ahead. Well, that this has turned into an entirely different thing. Three forty one Paul four oh three. Be advised this individual I just stopped advised that in the trunk there's gonna be a bag with what he describes as white powder. Ten four I'm running in there. Ten four I'm gonna stand by on the search and I'll uh, let you conduct your business. So just for reference, uh, when I told him that I was talking to another officer um, the officer I was speaking to was actually uh, on a stakeout of this. Uh, I had no idea that car was actually involved in the stakeout, but it looks like at this point it more than likely is involved in the stakeout. So we'll let uh, we'll let the uh, undercover unit come and uh, check things out. Thank you. 
All right, so uh, I already Mirandized him. He advised he doesn't want to speak to me, uh -huh. um, but uh, he then proceeded to say that uh, um, that I, I don't remember along the lines of basically admitting that he knows that he's already going to get in trouble for something, and uh, he advised that there's a, there's a bag in the trunk that has a white powder in it. He advised that earlier on in the traffic stop because I advised him that his vehicle was going to be impounded on – on the mere fact that obviously as you can see it's not roadworthy so we were going to send it away on a tow truck and i had to do an inventory on it so he uh he uh told us the backpack in the bag he wanted to grab it i said well before we do that that's part of the vehicle so it's going in the inventory log uh do me a favor if there's anything in there let me know what's going on and uh eventually he did state that there was a white powder in it uh at that point i detained him he was going to try to walk away scare away i detained him 319 grabbed him. I Mirandized him. Um, like I said, he said he didn't want to speak to me. Uh, 319 took him back to the, his vehicle, and that's where he sits. Cool. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, I haven't even popped the trunk yet, but he's indicating that there's something in the trunk, so. There's also a uh, white bag behind the driver's seat that I could see him throw down while you was uh, giving him the citation. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, he already got his citation on it. Now it's going to be even worse for him. Yeah, I can do that. I was just going to let you handle the actual search since I'm guessing this is going to be your investigation that you're already sitting on. So I was thinking maybe it'd probably be a better idea if you handle it. Weirdly enough, the thing I'm working ain't no coffee. Not today at least. 907 to dispatch. Although it does end up being about... Ah, it's not even related. Okay. It's always good to wrap up Go ahead. Oh, shit. Uh, there's a chainsaw in here with Copy blood on the blade. Um, good job, you got a big car. Uh, you want to bag that and uh, test that? Just send it back for lab and see if that comes back as human blood? Yeah. This just took another turn, folks. Also, uh, if I didn't mention it, I don't remember if I did or not, but just a heads up, you may have heard it. It's probably a good idea if you make sure to uh, mute your phone when you're getting ready to record. It's a bad idea not to do so. Uh, uh, continue the vehicle search. I I'm going to go and have a talk to this boy because uh, I want to know what this is. Be advised, he already said he didn't want to speak to us. All good. Jeez. No, I gotta go check, because if he already advised he doesn't want to speak to us, and he wants an attorney present, we can't do that. You've sure got a belly for it, haven't you? So, you told my friend over here that you uh, had a bag in the trunk with some... 403. Or white powder. No, he yeah. said white powder, but um, he's already advised he doesn't wish to speak to us, so at that point he's uh, wishing to speak to an attorney. So if you go ahead and continue to question him, it's going to be irrelevant. If he was dumb enough to answer them, yeah, okay, but ordinarily in real life, uh, once they say they want an attorney, I mean, you're done at that point. Nobody talks to him. It's all over, so we're not going to go that route. All right, so he advised that there's a couple of documents, and apparently it's labeled customers, and it's labeled as a bag full of money and a white bag. Yeah, go to drink my vehicle. There should be a spray bottle in there marked luminol. Bring it back here, and there's also a a black light in the trunk as well. Run it over the interior of the vehicle for us. Yep, no problems. Just in case he's doing any artwork. Pretty sketch to run around this stuff. Has he got a lawyer on retainer or is he calling one to the station or? Uh, he hasn't advised as far as uh, who his attorney is yet. Um, so I'm guessing it's Hey, especially with drug dealers, they don't have an actual job. They can claim they don't make any money. And um, so he's probably going to get a public defender. And uh, Nick Test comes back, and it is positive for User cocaine. From your channel. So I, wanna, I think we need to talk to this guy. So he needs to get his representation uh, Absolutely, yeah. He's, he, you're going to need to get, get him sat down in front of his attorney, see what he's willing to go with. But I, I, I have no reason... Um, to suspect he lives here i don't have any reason to not suspect it i didn't ask him why he was pulling down in here 
So I'm not sure what the deal is, why he was coming down here. So there's a lot of questions that are unanswered at this point. What was on his, uh, what was on his DL? Uh, I can go back and check that, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at where he actually does this. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back and, uh... Excuse me, sir. You got a lawyer on retainer, or are you requiring a public defender? I said, do you have a lawyer on retainer, or do you want to public defender? 0408 in 1998, I believe it was. Okay, so you're going to require a public defender. Nope, that's okay. not right. Uh-huh. Zero four eighteen ninety eight. Okay, eighteen. I was off by one number. Buddy left your channel. Uh, da, 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 da. All sorts of interesting notes for that individual. Let's Buddy see if the plate comes back channel. somewhere. Um. No registered address, Not apparently. Not anything just yet. No. All right, so I don't actually have a registered address for this individual. Okay, interesting. Also, I asked if he had a lawyer retainer. He doesn't. He wants a public defender. And guess what? The uh, the queue is full up, and uh, no one's going to be there. Well, so then. A long -ass time. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Well, we can try another route. I mean, I can go back and see if he's willing to start opening up, regardless of uh, what he's already stated, and see if we can go that route. Uh, guys, I'm pretty chatty about my butt, so yes. Hey, sir. Yeah, we've got um, we've we've got blood on the uh, passenger seat carpet. You guys just want to stand by. I'm gonna let I'm gonna pull him out real quick. If you guys just want to stand by. Sir, yep. go ahead and hop out of the car. All right. So I need you to look at me. We're going to have a discussion here. All right. So you advised you didn't want to make any statements, correct? No, I, I'm, I'm going to give you a, 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 a chance to try to clear some of this up real quick. Okay. So you, well, you advised you didn't want to speak to us, correct? Tell me I'm going to be in trouble if I speak to you, so, I mean, I would yeah, be stupid well, if I would speak to you. Well, right? the, thing, the thing is, is um, you choose not to speak to us. Um, I, with the amount that's in the vehicle, obviously, I don't believe that to be a situation where you're the big boss. Anytime we have a situation where we can take out the big boss rather than the small fish, it's beneficial for you to be truthful to us. But keep in mind, you've advised you don't want to speak to us. So the only way that you can speak to us at this point without an attorney present is if you actually state you would like to speak to us without an attorney present. That's the only way we can overturn this. So if you'd like to do so, you Car have to make that clear to us. Car no, you. once again, I'm going to state, you clearly have to state you want to speak to us without the presence of an attorney. Otherwise, we can't talk to you about this. Okay, but if I do that, and you give me a question that I don't like to answer, do I have to answer? You're not required to answer any question. Yeah, what's Yeah, you you have the right to remain silent. That's a thing. But like I said, you have to specifically state to us you want to speak to us without the presence of an attorney. Okay. I'm going to be stating that I wish to speak to you without the presence of an attorney. Okay. We do have that on record. 403, he's all yours. Paul off comms. Sound muted. Uh, this way we can actually listen. I mean, we can call it a friend, you know. 
Okay, so you've got a chainsaw in the trunk, and it has blood on the blade, and there is blood in the passenger seat footwell. So I mean, is it illegal to have juggling? a chainsaw with blood? Oh. <laughs> no, but it does make it incredibly suspicious that you've used it on something that has blood. I mean, maybe it just did some, you know, movie blood and put it on there. True, but be advised, we are going to be taking that back to the lab and having it tested. And we will be able to tell if it's human or not. Like I said, if you work with us and tell us what we need to know. Let me, down, 403, let me step in just for a second. Um, like I stated to you, we're looking to go after bigger fish. Um, if you want to sit here and play in riddles and dance around the truth, we're just, we're just not going to do that. We're going to put you in the back of the car. We're going to charge you with everything we possibly can, and you get to go to prison for all of it. Otherwise, if you want to sit here and start telling us the truth and working with us so that we have somebody else that we can target and we can take care of business, let's do that. Otherwise, stop wasting our time. Tell us that you don't want to speak to us anymore. You can go in the back of the car. We're going to arrest you for everything we have you for, and you're just going to go to jail, and then at that point, you're probably going to go to a prison for a while. Um, obviously, there's going to be testing done on that chainsaw. Um, if we can tie that back to any other crime scenes, this is going to be majorly problematic to you. So if you want to dance in riddles, you're going to go right in the back of the car. We're going to jail. So you decide how you want to handle this. Otherwise, we're just going to make the choice for you. Is that understood? All right, 403, once again, he's back to you. Thank you. Look, he, you know, he's been a little dramatic with that. It, it, it can be a problem. Like, I mean, he, he is right, but... Look, I'm not being dramatic at all. Fish, I am trying to convince that individual that we we need to get the information we need to get. Otherwise, I got no interest in hanging out here. I got better things I can do. But should you be helpful, then this does really benefit you, and you can get out of here with a lot less than you might. Does that make sense? I mean, I know I'm going to be in trouble, but... Uh, but do you want to be involved in that, is, is the thing, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to work with you. The blood on the chainsaw is mine. Have a look on my left leg. Okay, um, how did that happen? Uh, His left one, leg? His trouser leg, please. Well, the question at this point, is it an open wound and we need to get you medical, or is this going to be a past tense wound? No, it's past tense. Okay, so you've already... Let me, let me ask you again, before you go any further. Did you already receive medical treatment for this wound? No, I didn't want to go to hospital. Just give me, I mean, put a tissue around it and I mean, yeah, let it do its thing, you know. Okay, so this this wound is most likely actively still bleeding, is what you're saying? I don't know, man. I didn't have a look at it. <laughs> just trying, you know. <laughs> okay. How could you not look at a wound? You just 319. Get so medical in route. We don't have a choice. If I look at a wound, I'm gonna vomit. 403. Yeah. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to follow this back to the hospital. I 319. Get okay. get uh, medics in route. He's gonna have to be one. transported. Okay. Thank you. All right, sir. Um, she's going to be uh, following you back to the hospital, um, and she's going to proceed the uh, the the rest of these questions there. Um, if you're actively bleeding, I'm not I'm not about to go digging into a wound that you currently already got sealed off with uh, bandaging of your own making, because I don't know how deep you cut, and I don't want to cause any further bleeding. So um, I'm going to allow that to sit there. I'm not going to mess with the wound. Uh, we'll let the medics take a look at it. They can make that decision for you. 403, if you got any questions that you find that are absolutely necessary at this point until the medics get here, feel free to feel free to go with it. But other than that, uh, uh, we're going to stand by for medics. Put him back in the car. All right. We'll sit him down uh, so he's a bit more comfortable. Yeah, sir, uh, just do me a favor. You can have a seat in the back of the car. It's already going to have blood in it, obviously, if you were bleeding. So there we go. This went way, way different than I was expecting it to, but it made for a lot better scene, so. I didn't even see any. 319, did you see it? Yeah, it was shown up with the uh, the black light. Um, it was it shown up another... normally? Because you've been 
took their own blood from an active wound before getting treated. Mm. Do you get a CST you want to get en route and they can do a full process on the vehicle then? You're out and about by yourself I'm today, then, huh? Yep. All right. No fuck then we're going to have to hold off on the okay. tow, then. Um, you yeah. want me to go back to the station once they transport him? I'll hold him at the station for you until you can get there. Yeah, do that. Okay, I'm I can do that. that. All right, 319, hold down uh, until the medics get here and they release him. I'm going to be waiting at the station for him. Uh, you just stand by until medics get here. Yeah, no problems. Appreciate the backup, 319. All right, with that, folks, we're going to call oh, that a scene. Better. You don't need to see all the uh, boring details of me waiting at the hospital and the station and all that stuff. It's pointless for me to show you that. So um, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Um, looks like we're going to have a ride at about 30 minutes there, so it's going to be a nice little clip. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, uh, go ahead and do so and uh, hit that bell next to it so that way you can uh, see uh, next time I upload another video, you'll be able to see it. So, uh, like I said, guys, I hope you uh, saw it, you liked it, and uh, you're going to come back and keep on watching. Thanks, guys.